Hello everyone, Jackie here again, um, sharing a different project with you today. Um, I've got lots of mini albums up, so if that's what you're here for, this is a little bit different, but it's still a journal, and this is what I'm going to show you later. But first of all, I want to just um, go through the process that I use to make the papers that make the book cover up. Um, these are a sort of fabric paper. They, they start off as ordinary brown wrapping paper and you treat them in such a way that you're able to stitch them um, just like fabric really. And the process for this is in this book, um, Stitch Cloth Shimmer and Shine by Sarah Lawrence. It's a lovely book. Um, this actually is a library copy but I will be buying the book there's masses in there that's really interesting if you like mixed media. Um, the process for making this paper is quite straightforward really. It's basically a combination of wax crayon, crumpling the paper and lots of inks, um, mists, uh, sprays, glimmer, that sort of thing. Um, and it adds a strength to it, as I say, that makes it very easy to stitch. Um, so I'll just go through these. Um, I'm not sure if the camera actually can pick up the shimmer and shine on them. The first two aren't quite as shimmery. Let's put that there. But I think perhaps you can see that there's some uh, sort of fluorescent green on there, a, a sort of teal colour. It's really pretty. This is a nice green one with a bronze shimmer on it lovely. This is a real pretty one with pinks and blues and a bit of copper and gold on there. Um, the one problem I've got is that I can't actually remember the colours that I put on all of these but part of the fun really is having a go and seeing what turns out. This one I did using white copy paper. It's very thick paper um, and I did the process in a very similar way and this one I was really pleased with the way that one turned out it's going to make a great book cover or um, wall hanging something like that I don't know if you can see there's a very blue shimmery sheen to that one with some gold highlighted onto the creases there and then my last one is an, quite a pretty red, red and gold you can't really go wrong with that and then I made one of the sheets into this junk journal, which is for a swap. It's tied with a bit of sari ribbon. Let's just get that off. And you can hear and see I made a charm to hang on the back of the spine here. Um, the paper that I made is uh, has got a bit of foiling on it. That's the main extra bit that I've done differently from those papers that I just showed you. Um, the decoration is another type of paper that I like to make. It's called fabric paper and this is from Beryl Taylor's book which I've got here which is called Mixed Media Explorations. Fabulous artist and a brilliant book as well. So all I've done is cut three different colours of the fabric paper that I've made, um, two heart shapes and a square, just machine stitched them together, put a few beads on and then machined it onto the cover. The book cover is lined with card and cloth and then a, just a zigzag stitch around the edge to finish it off. And then for the inside I've made some signatures which I've stitched into the spine here with a pamphlet stitch. I won't go through every page. I've used a mixture of um, pattern papers, scrapbook papers and my own um, acrylic usually, uh, painted papers. So that's one of my own there. And I've used some of my stamps to decorate the plain pages. I love stamping but I don't do a great deal of it and this is a really good opportunity to use some of those stamps. I've put in a few extras, so these are some 
um, ATC backgrounds that my swap partner can use if she wants to. That's another bit of the patterned paper that I've made. More stamps. Another painted paper. I think that's gessoed originally and then a comb drawn through it to make these lines and then different colours of acrylic paints put on the top. Um, what else is in here? That's a tag that I've done with um, the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Um, that was a technique from his recent online course. Very nice beetle stamp, I like that. And another ATC background, another painted background there. I think actually that one's sprayed. And that's another from the Tim Holtz course, um, and that's using alcohol inks on glossy paper. So that's my project. That's going off in the post to my swap partner. I hope she likes it, and thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.